They're looking at this thing going, hi, this is state your name. And I got a terrible we've never been on the phone again. So, and then I had somebody about three months ago call me up and say, my mother told me that I sounded like I was reading a script. So based on that, this is always to be put into your own words. These are concepts, but this is what I do. Three questions I built my entire business for 25 years, always doing it this way. First rule, and then three questions, and then we'll close. The rule is, let me ask you a question first. You guys are really smart. No matter where you go in the world, this is true, but I'll limit it to North America because I don't know how well-traveled you are. Every person you meet, generally, what is their favorite topic? So. The one they feel is never discussed enough. Yes. <laughs> okay, would you believe it's the same way overseas? Exactly. So everybody's always so concerned that they have to know everything about everything before they can go out and talk to anybody. And really you don't because they don't care anyway. Just know they don't care about anything you have to say. So you all, people are always so worried they have to be so interesting. All you need to do is be interested in other people. That's all. So I genuinely care about other people. So the first thing, when you're talking to people and it's just general conversation, what you want to find out from people, question number one is, are you happy? And it's not, are you happy? Are you having a zippy doo dah cotton candy kind of wonderful day? It's really, are you satisfied? And that's a whole series of questions. That's a conversation into itself. You're not going to go start banging people over and say, you know, are you happy? But that's what you really want to find out. And notice I didn't say, do you want more money? I was making money when I was in Internet marketing. I suspect that, you know, Ray was looking for something, but he made money before. I was commenting earlier, everywhere I go, it's not just Tampa. I've been to all these cities all over the world that are on marinas. And they all, all of them, the boats are all in their slips. So I assume all those people have money and they have boats and they never seem to be in them. So I wonder if they're happy because I'd be in my boat, right? So are you happy? Are you satisfied? Is life treating you the way you want? If you stay on the road you're on, is it going somewhere you want to go? If nothing changes in the next couple of years, are you going to like where you end up? Most people sooner or later are going to tell you no, they're not really satisfied. Which leads to question two. Do you have a plan to change it? Now, honestly, you're not asking people if they have a plan because you want to hear their plan. If they had a plan, they'd be working your plan. They wouldn't be talking to you about how unhappy they are. What you're doing for people is wanting them to connect. Hey, I'm really not satisfied with where I'm at. I don't like the road I'm on. And I don't really have a plan to change it. Because the next question is, would you like to see one? Because I've got one. Now here's the part that people have a hard time with. Because the next statement is, it's probably not for you. Although I'm sure you're gonna love the product, most people do. But, if you see what I see, I think together we can do something pretty special. I think we can crush it. And if you don't, that's okay. Because at least you're on the road to finding a plan. And you should find one because you deserve to be happy. You deserve the best life has to offer. You deserve more than you have right now. Now, I just want to say, why do we tell people that it's probably not for them? Because it probably isn't. And this is the reality that you have to understand when you go out to do network marketing so you don't get all hung up on what people do or don't do. If you do everything right, two out of ten people are going to say yes to what you do. Those are the numbers. But that's okay, because most people don't say yes to medical school either, and the world has plenty of doctors, but we, we all use them. And most people don't say yes to everything else. So if you know that, it doesn't matter, because your job isn't to get anybody to say yes. Your job is not to get people in your business. Your job is to find the right people for your business. And guess what? You don't know who the right people for your business are until long after they've joined anyway. But if, so if you go out and you talk to everybody and you let them know right off the bat that they don't have to join, although they'll probably love the product, so you end up with a lot of people who use the product, and you get them to look at it with an open mind, the ones who are supposed to be there will be there. 
it isn't people are numbers, but it is a numbers game. And all your job, the whole job is just going out and talking to people and letting them feel comfortable enough to say no, that they're willing to look at something so they know what they're saying no to when they do. And along the way, the right ones will say yes. Awesome.